Double Diamond Railroad back after a trip south to Nashville and LaGrange. My video's up about that from last week. And I had this before I left and spray painted dark gray. It's an auto ramp for loading into auto racks. Always had a vision to have one of these. 3D printed, super fine detail from Shapeways. And so I sprayed it down. I thought, no, it's too dark. So I went with a lighter gray. You can see that. And now I rusted it out. And I chipped and faded all the railings, which they're hard to paint anyway. Barely tell that they were yellow. And under here, we can't see right now. I'll flip it up here in a minute. So I tried to rust the deck and make it look like it would be sitting out there a long time. Some of these things aren't too good at shape. Okay, let me break here and I'll flip it so you can see the other parts. So there's a shot of the side with rust underneath. And then we'll take another break here. Even rusted the underside. And that's a little bit of burnt umber in there, I think. With the gray. There's that side. The wheel things are rusty. So let me turn it around. Here's what it looks like from the side. The camera will always be viewing it from this side when it's back there on the ramp or at the end of the track. Now I gotta figure that out. Probably have to remove the bumper to get it in there because it's pretty low, pretty low clearance right there. I think it looks pretty good. I wasn't happy about the railing and everything. Then I rusted it out. Now I think it looks good. And I'm gonna go over and show you um, some hand, once I had that burnt umber out and regular umber, uh, just a brown umber, I went and hand painted some yard track because too much shiny rail was showing. Take you over there and show you that, the layout. Okay, so I set it back here. As you can see, the bumper's got to come out. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Back here under the light of the layout, it looks like a rusty deck. I like it, I still see the yellow. So we'll take that bumper out of there, extract that, probably have to cut it out because it's super glued down. Just break it out and then put the ramp up. It'll be able to roll back to the ramp then. Get her situated. So there's that. Let's see if I can show a few paint hand painted spots. There were a couple inserted ties right there. And we went through the guards and the side rails kind of stuff down here, right about there. So on the sides, it looks better. Getting a real bad glare on my screen. So that I didn't do, but back here, back here on that bridge and on the side of that switch. And up in here, you can see it. A little bit of rust mix and some dark brown. Take off some of the shine on the sides of the rails. Guards everything, switch throws. It is yet to be topped off, cleaned off at the top. I really went down this track heavier on the side to there to that car. Covered up the wire leads, stuff like that, because I don't have ballast yet. So there, see, I see some in there. I could get rid of shine down in there. My eyes aren't too hot, I have to use magnifiers. And depends on what light you have on what shines. So that was not showing up before when I was doing it. So now I have to keep these on so I can go back over. Okay, little mini update, follow up, since we haven't had anything up for a while, because we've been away. Now we cleared out the buildings, everything to make room for this. And my SD78s is done being boxed. I'm probably going to ship either today or tomorrow. So it probably won't be till Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, probably Wednesday before I get it back. Got the new Loke soundboard in it. Saw the video of it. Proof of life video. I'll be glad to get that one back, put it in. Next project I'm thinking about is... Uh, See if I can find my extra microtrains couplers 
Hope I have a bunch of uh, a 10 pack of 1015s, I think they are, dash something, short assembles. And I'm going to try to uh, do one of the, uh, I'll go over here and show it. I'm going to try to do this string of eight, Cotto, that have the weird cuppers on them. They're body mounts, I'll have to do conversion there and do some work on it. I'll try one. If it goes well, I got enough couplers. I should, if I got a 10 pack, to be a 10 pair pack, to be able to do them all and solve that problem because they have a really funky way of hooking up. You actually have to lift the car and drop it in the coupler. You can't just bump up to it. That's crazy. So I hope we can get that train going. Then the SD70 Ace is going to be pulling this train along with the SD60. That's the plan. Might add eight more of those in if the cupper conversions go good. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Been a busy week since we got back. I've really been tired. Just now starting to feel some energy after driving back all day to Z, 10 hours from Nashville. That's what it takes for us. Didn't split it up on the way back, only on the way down. So I had to drive straight back. Long day. Catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. God bless. Double Diamond Railroad out.